Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to efficiently hit inactives in Vikings War of Clans. If you do it right, it can be a great source of resources. If you do it wrong, it can lead to a lot of wasted time and gold. Now of course there are never any guarantees, but what we can do is minimize the likelihood of having a bad run. And to do that, we're going to want to look at the player's stats. So today we're going to take a look at a couple screenshots and uh, just going to kind of walk through how to look for a good target. Our first example is going to be of a player you definitely don't want to bother with. King Beast Chief right here. He's a level 21 town, but you can immediately tell that it's not going to be worth hitting him just because his influence is so low. And the resources produced in town are terrible. So we can ignore him completely and move on to the next potential target. This person's town or player name gives it away a little bit, but he's not worth hitting either. Um, see, his resources produced in town is 116 million. Not worth hitting. So we're going to move on to the next one. Baby bug. We immediately look. Resources produced in town, almost 7 billion. This person definitely has their resource, or at least at some point had resources set up quite well. It's a level 22 town, that's also a good sign. Okay, so this looks like a good target. Before we actually decide to port, we want to look at a couple other things before we do. We want to look at their time elapsed since last visit. If it's greater than two weeks, typically they'll have been, uh, they'll had their troops cleaned out by someone in clan versus clan or kingdom versus kingdom wars. You won't have to deal with it. That's always a good thing. You can also double check this by looking at their maximum influence and their current influence. Their maximum influence is a decent bit higher than their current influence, then you know their troops are pretty much gone. This is a pretty close ratio, but given that he's been offline for 17 weeks, and he's actually very close, you can't see this here, but he's very close to the forest in the center of the map, the chances of him having troops still are pretty much nothing. Um, you can take a look here too. This is a little bit harder to read since he has 1 million warriors trained, he's lost 2.2 million. Um, the resurrecting really makes it a little bit more difficult there. But overall, this looks like a good player to hit. The one caveat here is that this player is located by the central forest, so there's a pretty good chance that they get cleaned out regularly. And if you may pour it in, they may not have a whole lot of resources there. But overall, pretty decent target. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the minimum influence you're going to be looking for on your targets. So we're going to take a look at one of my accounts. This, uh, this account is purely set up to produce resources. It has essentially no knowledge outside of the uh, early part of the economics tree. As you can see, there are very few buildings built. If we look at its stats, it has 36k warriors produced in ever. Um, so essentially, it's the minimum influence possible to get to uh, a hyper farming account. Chances are, players you're going to run into aren't going to build their towns this way unless they're using it for this purpose, which you're probably going to find those very rarely. So you're looking for greater than 12.3 million influence. Um, as you can see, this town has produced 4.5 billion resources, so it is a good target. So yeah, that's essentially it. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. If you found the video useful, like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content here shortly. Thanks.